As most of you have noticed by now, we have been going from manufactured crisis to manufactured crisis. And there is an obvious end goal to each of those crises, lining up with the new world envisioned by whatever psycho alien is in charge of this planet because I have a hard time believing it's a human. Elon Musk even wore a jacket to the Met Gala reading Novus Ordo Seclorum, a new order of the ages, as it states on the dollar bill. I mean, what is Elon Musk even doing at the Met Gala? He's a tech guy. I was actually going to do a video about him, something like, Elon Musk is here to make the new world order look cool. But he is really just an actor, a pawn for all of the strings being pulled behind the scenes. <laughs> One person cannot do as much as Elon Musk is claimed to be doing. A few simple reasons why they need him. One, Massive profit behind market manipulation of ridiculously overvalued Tesla, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and anything this scumbag tweets about. Two, making microchips, satellites, various technology seem progressive and innovative as opposed to psycho control over your brain. Three, claiming he owns Twitter will make people point the finger at him as opposed to the government agents censoring people through the Department of Homeland Security's disinformation government sport. What was even bigger news last week was a Supreme Court leak about Roe versus Wade being overturned. And I'm inclined to not even entertain any of this information because there is no such thing as a leak when they control everything you see and hear. This was to elicit a specific reaction. If you don't know what Roe v. Wade is, it was a court decision which allows a woman to have abortion without excessive government restriction. And any of these stories that hit the main, main, mainstream, not one of them has ever been truth. There might be some side stuff that's relatively unheard of. Some people might have seen it. The hidden truth, but never super mainstream news. Someone actually registered a website for this specific cause two weeks before the news was leaked. JewishRallyForAbortionJustice.org And of course, the main purpose of the website is to ask for donations. We know the government loves abortion. Planned Parenthood is a business. So is Big Pharma with Pfizer publishing $8 billion of profit in the first quarter of this year after experimenting on pregnant women and the rest of the population. So you know the government doesn't actually want women to give birth and, and they, they actually want more abortions. That, that's pretty, pretty clear. Of course, we can't forget the Russia-Ukraine war. And about two months ago, when this was new and exciting stuff, some guy took a trip to the Ukraine to see it for himself, describing it as a Hollywood movie set. Now, who knows if he's telling the truth or not, but our politicians don't seem too afraid of stepping foot in Ukraine. Pelosi is flying there to walk around in a bright blue suit. Yes, Kiev is under constant shelling, yet the politicians are walking around like tourists. Trudeau in a freshly dry clean suit, not a wrinkle on that suit in a war zone. And I'm sure some of you heard that they were sending $33 billion, very special number, in aid to the Ukraine, but absolutely zero proof of that. And really, no proof for anything else they say in the news. People just believe it. And I think that money-sending aspect of it is them trying to convey in the news this is a global problem. The U.S. is sending a massive amount of money to the Ukraine. Therefore, the U.S. is involved. So, I mean... I could do stuff like this every week, guys. There's just so much ridiculous stuff in the media and you basically have to say, okay, why are they lying to us now? And how is it possible that everyone is so silly they believe half of this stuff? I can't really think of anything else for this week, guys, probably because I am Wi-Fi shielding my body and not my brain. But you guys can go to wifi shielding.com to check out the joggers as well as sweatshirt and a bunch of other radiation protective devices so the government doesn't fry your brain. Outside of that, if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can check out all of my other businesses on frank-stefano.com to support me. Thanks again, guys. 
I'll see you for tomorrow. Thank you.